What up, dicks? Welcome back to the channel where we uh, do shit Colts way. And we drink a few bush lattes around here, son. Bush. Look, today we're going to put this uh, Morimoto grill on there. Y'all, if y'all have seen my videos before, you know I put the Morimoto amber deal headlights in the front, um, the Morimoto XB Gen 2 headlights in the front. This grill right here will go in there, and I don't know if you've ever seen, but it'll have two LED strips up, up on the top and the bottom of the grill that kind of just goes right in line with the lines in the headlights. But uh, hell, you'll see what it looks like, just stay tuned. But we're gonna put this on and let's roll. Um, if you watch the video and this is something you want to purchase, I'll put a link to this in the video description. Just click the link, you can buy it through there. Now, now I've got the amber, the amber headlights, so this is the amber grill. If, if you don't have amber and you have like the, the regular white clear color like most people have, you can get the clear color grill as well. Just before you order, make sure that you have clear amber, um, minor amber. But we'll unbox this thing and then we'll put this bitch together and let's roll. All right, so we got her open now. Now you can get this, this is the black grill and you can paint to match. I think you can get a chrome grill too, but I hate chrome and everything on my truck's black, so I don't have to pay anybody to paint to paint to match it. So I'm golden. But um, let's pull it out real quick. Let me get out of the frame, idiot. Alright. Oh yeah, she looked good, son. Take this right off. You know, I got an XLT, but I keep it clean. You know what I'm saying? This looks like the uh, the platinum grill. It's got the whatever. I got a Lariat Sport grill on the front of mine right now. But, you know, I, I think the platinum comes like this with chrome. Who cares? I ain't got a platinum. But uh, anyway, that's what it looks like. It comes, with, it, it comes with all the, like, here's some clips on the side. I think you'll reuse your factory clips um, on the other things. But... It comes, you know, the wires, grill, everything's in there still. And these will just plug into a new harness. So we'll get all that figured out. But let's go start taking everything on the front of the truck apart. And also, you know, I throw this in, the, in every video because it took me forever to build the website. And, you know, if, it's some, if this helped you in any way and you want to support the channel, just go to uh, www.buymealatte.com and you can purchase me one latte, six pack, 12 pack, 30 pack, whatever. But, uh, I'm just going to throw it in on every video because I took the time to have it built. But let's roll to the front, son. Actually, before we go to the front, I need to show you the, uh, you know, it comes with wiring harnesses, so. Damn. I'm assuming one of these is going to be if you have OEM halogens and OEM LED. I got that peasant model halogens on there from the factory, so. Anyway, you got two harnesses. I don't know if you use both of them. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But I'm sure it'll show you in these handy directions. But that's what I'm here for, so you don't even got to read them. Let's roll. All right, uh, pretty sure the only thing you're going to need is like a, a 10 millimeter socket, um, a flathead, or any kind of pry tool. And I'm just going to grab a pair of clients just because. Um, pull tabs or whatever. But let me stick all this crap back in here and we'll go to the front. But that's what you need. Uh, 10 millimeter socket, some expired rubber gloves from what, 2000? When are these? I've had these forever. Two, 2009, back when I was contracting. But uh, anyway, that's neither here nor, here nor there. Let's go to the front. All right, so uh, first thing you're going to want to do is, uh, I don't know how many there is. I think there's like 14 or something. These little tabs on the top, you know, they're, they're here, 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 here. I've got a bunch of videos taking the grill apart, putting the headlights on. You know, if you want to see how to take this off, go watch some other videos. But I mean, damn, it's self-explanatory. Just pull these tabs out right here, okay? I'm going to pull the rest out on camera, off camera. All right, so once you get all the tabs off, I think I'm missing about half of them. You just discard that piece. And this is where you need your 10 millimeter socket. So, you know, this grill's got to come out. So take all these out. There's a one, two, three, four, five six seven eight nine ten looks like i'm missing a couple so just find all the ones that pull the grill out and then once you get all those off once i get them out i'll stop the video again all right so once you get all the 10 millimeter bolts out take your latte sip 
take a little break. Now, most people are going to, contrary to popular, but you don't have to be as gentle with stuff as you think. So I got all the bolts out. And what I usually do is I just take this and pull. Damn, that was hard. You see what I mean? You got to pull. Now, don't pull too hard because you got, you know, my grill stops where I can't keep going, this bull bar. But um, I got wires going everywhere. I got a wire for this emblem lights up. And then I got, uh, you know, I got a front camera I added. You know, it's, it's down here if you want to see how to add a front camera to your truck if you don't have one. I'll put a link somewhere up in that video description on top left somewhere. Click that put your camera. So I've got to unhook the camera wire and unhook this lighted emblem wire. Um, so just be, be mindful of all the stuff you need to unhook before you just rip your grill out. So I'm going to unhook all my wiring and then I'll take the grill, we'll bring it to the back of the truck and we'll start the next step. Okay, I lied. These uh, that hold the emblem on are not 10 millimeter, these are eight. So you need eight millimeter deep well socket. Take these nuts holding the emblem on. Mine's going to be a little different than y'all's because this is not a factory emblem, and so it's going to be a little different. But just you got to take these two bolts out. I think there might be three on on y'all's. I'm not. I can't exactly remember. It's been forever. But take the damn emblem off, okay? I'm gonna take that off, and then we'll start the video again. All right. So got my emblem off. It's got two wires on it. I'm not gonna show how to do all that because that's not gonna be something y'all are gonna have. But we're gonna put this emblem on the new grill. So. Let me, let me get the box situated and everything, and we'll start then. All right, just to clean up the rat's nest room, I cut these two wires that, that light this emblem up. Um, I never use it anyway, and to be honest, I'm probably going to buy a, sub, a subdued American black flag one. So now I'm just going to transfer this over to the new grill. I don't think I need to show you that because you took it off, so it's the same thing. Okay, so uh, you can see I've got the, uh, the emblem back in there. I think the only difference is if you have factory, you're going to have another another bolt right there. I don't, I don't have that. So if you do, it's just one more bolt. Now this comes supplied with these clips right here. You need to be mindful of that because a lot of times, sorry about the wind. I got a little, hopefully it's helping. I got a little did cat on here. Um, if it ain't, I mean, oh well. So one, two, three, four clips right there. Let me grab this latte and I'll show you because sometimes, oh mullet looking good, son. Come around, poke me in the eye sometimes. Got them new meat Larry Hoover's on there too. I had 37, 13, 50, 20s. These are 37, 12, 50s. Now, I keep them clean though. So look, one, two, three, four. A lot of times those clips get, get stuck in there. Um, so what you need to do is get you a flathead or something and you just come down, push down on that hole and pull out on it. So before you, you know, go sticking the new grill in there, like, oh, why ain't this thing fitting, you know? A lot of times those clips get stuck in there. So just be mindful of that. So you gotta pull them out if they are, but. We're going to go to the next step. I'll bring my tripod around here to the front and we'll see what we got to do next. I got to figure out what harness goes where. Uh, take me just a minute and then we'll roll, son. All right, next thing you got to do is there's one, two, three, four. There's another one in there. You'll have a little, pla I have an aftermarket bumper. You'll have a little rubber flap. You got to pull back. There's another bolt right in there. So you got to take them four bolts out. They're 10 millimeter, I believe. Uh, yeah, 10 millimeter. So take those out. And like I said, I've got, I got, if you want to, you ain't sure about it or whatever, I got a video of putting those in, putting some Lariat Sport halogen ones in. I, I, I've literally taken them out like 10 times. So take the four bolts out and then pull the light out. All right, I'm gonna do this, this bottom one off camera because it's with my aftermarket bumper, I can't get a socket or an extension in there. I've got to use a, a, a wrench. So just know that I'm taking this bottom one out first. All right, I got that bottom one out with this wrench right here. Um, set this right there. Now I'm gonna get these ones and then we'll pull the headlight out. Come on, old son. Now I'm gonna pull this out. Pull that out. Now I'm gonna stop. We've got to unplug this harness now, okay? So, because we got to transfer to the new harness. So, everything that's that's unplugged or that's plugged in, we're gonna just unplug, okay? 
and I'll, I'll put this on video. I'm gonna pause it real quick and take a picture of that so I don't forget. All right, so I took a picture of it. The only thing, I, I disconnected this uh, DLR that goes up to the fuse tap. I mean, I just did that off camera, but so just unhook all your stuff. It's pretty self-explanatory, really. I'll probably speed this part up on a video, like cut and edit a, a few things just to, for time's sake. Stupid. Done. Okay, after looking around for a little bit, so you're going to have two harnesses. This one with the red, if you have OEM LEDs, you're going to have to use that one. If you have, if your truck came with OEM halogens, you use the one without the red in it, okay? so. That's what I'm going to do first. Then I'm going to take uh, where's it at? Yeah, this this one right here is going to go into that, and then your DRL wire is going to go into that. So I'm going to plug those in real quick. Now I don't have to run the DL, DL, DRL because uh, because I already did it when I installed these lights the first time. So if you need to install this in the fuse box. I'll link my video when I installed these lights in the top corner and you can push it and it shows you they go in this fuse box right here. And to be honest with you, I might actually in the future end up taking that out of the fuse box and just running it to an upfitter because when my truck's on, the C-beams are always on. Sometimes I'll be wanting to go in stealth mode, you know what I mean? But I can't, there's no way to turn them off with them in that fuse light that I've found. So I'm just gonna take it out of the fuse and run it to an upfitter switch and I can turn it on and off when I want. In theory, that's what I want to do. After I cut it and try, we'll find out. All right, now that I've got this plugged in, these two are gonna to go to the grill. So I'm just gonna like move them out of the way for right now. I'll mess with them in a little bit. And now, I don't think I use this little one and this one's gonna plug in to the headlight and then we'll plug these in like before. In theory, I can't really, the directions aren't the best, but that's what I'm here for. So I might have to do like a little time lapse or something if it's taking too long, but get over it because I'm trying to figure it out as I go too. So this big old harness right here is three and three. So I got to find one that has a three with a thing on the outside. That ain't it. Yeah, that's it. Boom, 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 son. I'm hoping. Clicked in there just good. So, just kind of got to match match up what you got. You know what I mean? Yeah, one, two, three. I don't really know what one, but when I crank the truck, we'll figure that out. If it ain't working right, because, I mean, this could... This could go in either one. I should have been paying attention when I unplugged it. All right, we're going to go test her out. Hopefully we won't blow everything up. All right, so it seems like forever. Um, I got, before you start unplugging everything out of your headlights, take a picture. I thought I took a picture. It was blurry. I couldn't see. So I ended up having to take the passenger side off because I couldn't, I had everything plugged up and the lights weren't coming on and I was missing one plug that I, I didn't remember where it went. So take a picture, a video where they are. I got to put that headlight back in, but I've got the jumpers hooked up before I, you know, was going to shut it up and they're, they're on and running right now. So it looks good. I've tested brights, dims, um, blinkers, hazards, everything's good. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and put the passenger side back in and I'm going to do an up close video of where everything goes on the new harness so that you can see where it doesn't take some this long to do it because it took me a while to figure everything. It's not hard. I just, I should have took a picture beforehand, but I'll get the passenger side light in and then before I do the driver's side, I'll show you all the video of where all the plugs go. All right. So I got everything, got everything working, figured out right. Um, now I'm going to bring the camera over here and bring the camera over here and show you how everything plugs up because 
it's just good to know. So bush. All right, let me let me get the camera set up where it's kind of like an overhead view, so you can see pretty decently. All right, let's see if we can see what's going on here. So, all right, I unplugged the old harness. Okay, here's your new harness. You got your two tails that go to your grill light. This thing, and this and this one right here. Okay, that's, we're going to say that's the bottom end. The top end has this plug here that's going to go into this brown one and this plug here that goes into your DRL okay so then you follow this down and this 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 black one here that I have see this one this other big one that is the same plug is gray so I'm using the black one it goes into the bottom of this harness that was already on the Morimoto lights it has red black and brown okay it goes to the bottom and then as you go down the new harness you come to this little plug right here, okay? And then you also come to this big plug. So this big plug goes into this one from the old harness that was on there. It's a yellow, white, brown. This little plug, I don't have plugged in right now. Um, and these two go to your grill. So it's pretty simple. But I thought there was a... Uh, um, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think this this one on the bottom of the new harness goes in here i ain't tried it yet but it's the only thing i can see that that it would fit i don't know if it makes a difference on anything or not but it's blue and that's blue so i'm assuming you know and this one's capped and that one wasn't capped so all you got left now is these two that go to the grill so after plugging this, these two together, I'm gonna to make sure everything works good, and then I'll set these to the side and we'll, we'll put the light in, and then we'll install the grill. All right, uh, everything worked, was working great, so I'm assuming that's how it all goes. So I'm gonna move these over to the side, and I'm gonna put my light back in. So once I get that done, we'll go ahead and put the grill in, and, and we'll roll. I don't think I need to show you how to put the light in. You've already seen probably that a bunch of times okay I got the new headlight in and you can see I got the, the two tails coming up here and put this light down here where y'all can see is it even on yet it's so bright out here well you can't really see god dog oh there we go and so you see that right there there's plenty of room for it to come up it's not pinching or anything it's plenty of room so just run the light up right between that plastic and this metal part right here and you'll be good and uh there you go we're going to put the grill on now and that should be it and we'll you know i'll show the finished product and everything and it's going to look really cool right about dark so i'll get some more footage of it then but um to reinstall the grill i mean it's the same exact way you took it out now i'm, I'm still going to show you you know putting that new grill in and and hooking up the, the two wires or whatever but after that i'm just going to roll and put everything else together because it's just the top bolts and then the little push pins on on top of the bolts so Try not to scratch this old thing or this new thing, but all right. So obviously these need to be plugged up first. What I'm gonna do, let's see if I can only use this old line purse right here. So I don't scratch up on my stuff. I don't think that's gonna really might help all right just chill out right there so I'm just gonna plug these wires in where I can hide them I'm gonna run from the top down through this little gap hope you can see it going through this gap actually I'm gonna bring these wires up through that gap I think Let's see. All right, so scratching my grill up. I got the wires right here. I'm gonna plug these wires in. It these it doesn't matter what way you plug them up. It's a uh, it doesn't matter if you. It's gonna work either way. 
So don't worry about, oh, I don't know if I got it plugged in the right one. Just shut up and plug them in. So um, yeah, there you go. Scratch your grill up. I don't have as much room as everybody else because I got that bull bar. But I think these plugs, I think, I'm just hoping I got enough room up in here. Let's sit on up there, son. Just wondering. You gotta somehow get to get them in there where they don't get pinched. All right. Once you get it up there, like I said, don't don't worry about it. You just gotta once they're kind of lined up. If I could see, you just you just push them. Get up in there, old son. It's in there. I got my wires up out of the way. I'll zip tie them down. They're not pinched or nothing. So I like it. It's in there tight. I'm going to put the 10 bolts on top and then we'll put these other bolts or the push pins on top and then we'll roll. All right. I got all one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight bolts in. Now it's a. Uh... Hey! Y'all be quiet. I'm trying to film over here. Then it's, it's just put this thing on with the push pins. So once I get that done, we'll, we'll show you how she looks. This, uh, since I had the Morimoto lights already, I didn't need this DRL thing that goes into the fuse tap up there. So th this is left over. That and the OEM LED harness, because I, I didn't have OEM LEDs. So let's see what she looks like. But how about that damn mullet, son? Sucker's legit. I know it looks good and I can't even see it. I can't wait till tonight. Go. Oh, she looked good, son. Hell yeah. Push. Oh yeah, she looks mean. Let me get all this crap picked up and I'll try to get some uh try to get some night shots, but doesn't that look it's just clean as heck, man? Lines just perfect with each other. You're gonna see me rolling. Right on past your Duramax or Cummins. Right, right past. You see my tail lights. Bush, sorry about the annoying slobber. The microphone's right here. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It was delicious. All right, so there's the finished product. I think it looks awesome. Looks really good. I like this camera's doing that weird, maybe flash thing or whatever, but we'll get another, some more pictures of it at night. But I mean, it's, it looks really good, so I'm super happy with it. The thing's high, high quality, man. I, the grill's like, I don't know, it's just everything's built real nice on it. I, I, I really like it. I'm super happy with it. I really honestly didn't think it would look this good, but I mean, when you're rocking with this mullet, everything looks good. Well, I'm, I'm pumped. We'll, uh, we'll go tonight and see kind of what it, what it looks like towards you know nighttime or whatever. Um, I think it's great looking. Got the old Mickey Thompson Baja Bosses on there, brand new. I think I said that earlier, but we'll see what it looks like with the uh, with the with the headlights on. So that's with with the headlights on. Um, we'll do we'll do a video on it tonight, though. Kind of closer to dark and then dusk, but I mean it's a long day. I've been hunting freaking every day. I don't let a good bit of bucks pass, um, but we finna hit Clyde right now. It's been a long day. I've been wanting to get this done. I just been running out of time with two kids now, and I, I need to post more than I have. But um, it's just with the kids, I'm super busy now all the time. That's not an excuse. I need to I need to get out there and pump out some content for y'all. But I appreciate the hell out of y'all watching. Um, we're gonna hit Clyde real quick, and then we'll do a video tonight and let y'all see what she looks like. Let's roll. Got the old scent crusher set up. I don't know, I think it's maybe, I still get winded every day. I had a, I had a doe blow me this morning. 
That's about the, if, if, if you blow, you got to go. She, she does it tomorrow, she's finna die. All right, so I'm driving down the road right now with, with my high beams on. Okay, there's my dims. Um, I'm gonna turn the headlights off so you can see how bright these things are. So the headlights are about to be off. It takes this a little bit for them to turn off. Now the headlights are off. I'm literally driving <laughs> with the running lights. I mean, I, when I tell you these suckers are bright, let me turn my cab lights on because you know, I remember when I showed you earlier how you turn the uh, parking lights on. They get a little dimmer. Okay, that's that's with the, uh, the cab lights on. Or the parking lights, whatever you want to say it. Now this is with the uh, bright all the way up again. So I'm going to get out and let y'all see what it looks like. I mean, it's unbelievable. So... You see it's pitch black all the way around. <laughs> That's what they look like right now. Looks good. There's there's not a, there's not any bulbs missing right here or anything. It's just this bull bar's blocking it somewhat sometimes. So you gotta get like right there. But so that's Full bright. All right, this is with the parking lights. And you can see it's not as bright, but you got your cabs and your mirror lights. So, I mean, that thing looks sweet. I'm pumped. <laughs> Get in here. Turn them back up all the way bright. Let me let this inside light go off. So all the way, bro. I'm look at this. So I'm gonna turn on my spot beams real quick. So I can literally drive with my two little cubes in those orange things. I mean, I can drive with just this right here. I mean, that is nuts. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn uh, my running lights on now so my cabs will come on. So you can see the difference. See how much dimmer it is. But all right, let me turn the headlights on. We, we get it. They're bright. So, this is my low beams, there's your highs. Here's my fog lights, my spot fog, or you know, it's a little rigid spots, and then here's my rigid, uh, well those are my rigid fogs, I'm sorry, spit it out, stupid. Here's my rigid spots. So, I mean, I'm, I got whatever I want lit up. So, I mean, it's nuts. I'm gonna turn this look around and head to the house, and I'll let you see what it looks like, you know, one more time in the dark. So I'm sitting in the driveway with just the, the running lights on. Um, so this is like, if it if it makes sense, this is kind of the reason that I wanted to put these on a, um, on an upfitter. So if I'm wanting to go stealth mode, I can't. But if I put it on an upfitter, I can turn those running lights on and off whenever I want. All right. So as with anything with with the Morimotos, like whenever you just turn the key they're that bright right there like you put it in drive you drive around it's like that all the time now if you turn like your parking lights on which would be these and my cab lights it'll dim up a little bit so see that it's dim like that but if you don't have your parking lights or cab lights you know your parking lights on it's super bright like that so um that's what it's like. I kind of wanted to show you all that it was like that with the headlights without the grill it's the same now when I turn the headlights on so there's the headlights on right there. You know, they stay a little dimmer. But when when you go ahead and just turn everything off and start your truck, put it in drive, they're gonna be bright like that all the time. So, but your, your cab, your cab, your running lights aren't, it's, you know, I guess whatever you say running lights, but the cabs and mirror lights aren't on. It's like that all the time. And I, literally, I think at night, I'll pro I could probably drive with this because when I had just my headlights, I'd go down the camp or something. That's why I kind of want to put it on an upfitter because um, I, like, I want to turn this off every now and then. So I would just take that DLR wire that we put in the fuse thing, I would just take that, run it to up there, and I'd, I could flip it on and off when I wanted it. Um, but I, I literally think, we'll see tonight, I could probably drive around the yard or whatever with just these, they're so bright. Um, but anyway, man, I appreciate the hell of y'all watching the channel. We got to hit Clyde one time. My, my battery's about to die on the truck. You know, you know we can't, can't do it without Clyde, so. Let me see here. And like I said, when it gets a little darker tonight, we'll uh, 
we'll, we'll do it again, but you know, I appreciate the hell of y'all watching. Like I said, uh, if you got any questions or you want to know anything, maybe I didn't answer it. Like I said, you know, I don't have OEM halogens or anything like that, um, but sh so I don't, I don't really know, or OEM LEDs, so I don't really know those questions, but I'm here in the comments, hit me up. I'm gonna do the best I can. Uh, like the people, the, just want to say thank you to the, the people over at Morimoto. I appreciate the heck out of this. Um, they, they sent these to me, so, but y'all know I'm not, if, if it sucks, I'm gonna tell you it sucks. That's just how I, how I roll. They don't suck. I have not had one problem out of the headlights either. Um, so between the headlights, like I said, I've had this a day, but the installation is super simple. It's all, you know, heavy duty, like quality material. You know, you'll get maybe a little mixed up on the wiring or whatever, but I showed exactly where to plug what and what. Now hold up because I'm thirsty. Ooh, tails down, beaks up. Whoa! Boom, son. Anyway, uh, forgot what I was gonna say. That's probably drawn out the camera a little bit. Let me make it a little bit lighter. But, uh, all right, that might be a little bit better just for the camera purposes. But if you got any questions, hit me up. You know, um, channel support always, www.buymealatte.com. I'll throw it up on the screen. Um, I am gonna change this out. You know, most YouTubers will probably clean their truck or whatever before they do videos, but it, it rained the other day. This is the cleanest it's been in a long time. I've been at the camp for every morning for forever. So it'll get cleaned after hunting season, but it rained the other day, so it's kind of clean. But um, let me know what y'all think in the comments. Like I said, they make these or the, the you know, the clear color. I kind of want to see what it looks like on the, on the camera real quick. Um, yeah, I think it looks good. The camera kind of drowns it out a little bit just because it's so bright, but <laughs> I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's awesome. I don't know if y'all have seen this before, but I'm gonna uh, go ahead and start the truck and I want y'all to see the um, the Bugatti headlight sequence if I got enough battery before this camera dies. But what's another cool thing about Morimoto? I know this video is about the grill, but if you've never seen the headlights or anything, you might like that too. So I'll have remote start it here in just a second. As soon as that goes out, hopefully I got enough, like I said, this thing's got like 2% battery. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna start it so y'all can see the Bugatti sequence. You'll see the headlights come on like one, see them? Oh, that's legit. And then it turns on, but, and, and you can, with these headlights, I know this video is about the grill, but with these headlights, you can, you, get, you can get a regular turn signal or like sequential. And you'll see that I have sequential, so. Put my left turn signal on. Well, I probably got to start it, stupid. So you can see how it's sequential instead of just one flash or whatever, which is pretty sweet. And your um, hazards are the same. So anyway, man, I'm just sitting here rambling. I got like 1%, I keep looking at it, but like I said, I appreciate the hell out of y'all watching the channel, it means a bunch. If you haven't hit the like, like button, hit the sub button. Uh, I'd appreciate that too, but once again, I, I think they look fan, fan friggin' tastic, son. But we'll we'll ride around tonight. I'll get a little picture at dark, just so y'all can kind of see it. And I'll throw that before this, because this is the end of the video. I'm just gonna do a little something at night later. So, all right, dicks, I'm done rambling. Peace. Like I said, if you want it, link. If you want to buy it, to the grill or the headlights, links in the video description. I'm out.